In this video, we'll go through an example of a quiz created in Google Forms and explore ways of collecting and grading answers. Here's the quiz I've set up. Section 1 is for personal information, first name, last name, and email. Section 2 has the quiz questions. Currently there are three multiple choice questions. If I go up to the form settings and open the quizzes page, I have the option to make this form a quiz. The default setting is that students can see how they did immediately after submitting. They can also see what they missed and the point value of each question. I'll click Save. Now when I click on each question in Section 2, I can define the answer key and the number of points. Each question is worth two points for a total of six points for the quiz. Now say that I want to set a time limit on this quiz so that students won't take more than a few minutes to complete it. I'll need an add-on for this. I'll click the three-dot icon, choose Add-ons, and look for Form Limiter. After installing, add-ons for forms can be accessed with this puzzle icon. I'll click Set Limit, choose Date and Time, and set the time that the form will close. Now I'm ready to send this to my students. I can uncheck Collect Email Addresses because those are already part of the form. As a student taking the quiz, here's how it looks after I enter my name and email. I see how many points each question is worth. I'll answer each and submit. Now I can click View Score to see how I did. Here are my points and questions in green were answered correctly and red ones were wrong. As the teacher, I can see a summary of all answers, breakdown per question, and individual results. And I can place all results in a spreadsheet as well. Google's grading is great for a simple series of multiple choice answers, or even checkbox or grid answers. Open-ended questions can be handled as well, though assigning points manually to paragraph or short answer questions gets a little complicated. A more efficient way of handling more personalized grading is with a Sheets add-on called Flubberoo. Going back to the same form, I'll turn off quizzing. In Section 2, I'll highlight the last question, then add one last question, which has a paragraph answer format. I'll send it out to students the same way. As the student taking the quiz, this time I don't see anything about points. I just take the quiz and submit. I'll be grading this quiz with the Flubberoo add-on, and Flubberoo requires a set of answers as the grading key, so I need to be sure to take this quiz myself. I could use my actual name and email, but I just need a placeholder that will easily identify myself in the spreadsheet. So I'll just enter AAA for my personal details, and later I can filter my sheet so that my row will appear first alphabetically. And when I take the quiz, I need to be careful to select all correct answers. I can leave the last question blank. As the teacher, the responses don't have any indication of point values either. To grade this quiz using Flubberoo, I need to have all data in a sheet. So I'll create the sheet. Here's my answer key row, and I can use the sorting function to move this row to the top. Now I'm ready to start assigning points and calculating grades. I'll choose Add-ons, Flubberoo, Grade Assignment. Flubberoo does a pretty good job at identifying columns that don't need grading, such as name and email. Scrolling down, for the multiple choice questions, I'll leave them as normal grading and assign two points to each one. The last question I'll set as Grade by Hand and set it at four points. So the whole quiz will be worth 10 points. Then I'll click Continue. Now I have to select the answer key, which is here in the first row. That's all Flubberoo needs to start grading. In a new Sheets tab called Grades, I have the class summary here. Down here, I can see the results for each student, including their total points and percent grade. 
For the last question, there are no points assigned. I need to do those by hand. I can go back to the first tab, read each answer, and come back to this tab to enter the points. As I enter these points, the other numbers update accordingly. Now, if I want to mail these scores to my students, I can use Formule. But Formule requires that the spreadsheet starts in cell A1. Flubberoo will stop working if these rows are removed, so I'll copy these cells, click here to create a new sheet, and paste them in. This sheet is called Sheet 2, which can be changed, but I'll leave it. Now I'll launch Formule, select Sheet 2, ignore the triggers, call the template Quiz Results, and send for all rows. I'll place the email tag here and enter the subject. And here's what I'll enter for the email body. I'll preview first, then send the emails to the class.